Hey guys, it's Cahill, and this week's theme is politics. Which is a really, really interesting topic for me, especially of late, considering the massive media coverage of the American presidential election, and also the recent announcement of an Irish general election. I don't know why politics interests me so much, because it shouldn't, because I'm still not able to vote. But every time I see a poster, which is literally every half second when you're in Ireland and there are posters on every freaking lamppost, I kind of think, well, which party is the best? Which party is the most applicable to my... I don't know. Whereas America votes in a president, either of the Democratic or Republican Party, and then their Senate, or whatever the hell they call it. The Irish political system often offers a lot more options uh, as regards party choices. So I'm just going to go through the political parties in Ireland because I don't know why. Heard your history, come back to me, come on. Fine Gael, which is Irish for clan of the Gael. It says that Fine Gael's ideology is Christian democracy and liberal conservatism. They are centre-right which you wouldn't really notice considering the fact that it was in their government that gay marriage was legalised. It was in their government that we brought the country back from one of the lowest lows we have ever experienced courtesy of the country that has been in power for most of Ireland's history, or Ireland's history as a sovereign nation, Fianna Fáil. Now Fianna Fáil have had a history of irritating leaders who I can't not stand. Currently it's a man from Cork named Michal Martin who just sounds dead inside. Fianna Fáil was founded by one of the great nationalists of Ireland called Eamon de Valera. This is making no sense. Fianna Fáil are also centre-right and believe in Irish republicanism, liberal, uh, liberal conservatism and populism. I don't know what that means. The Labour Party is a centre-left party led by a woman called Joan Burton whose voice is so irritating but she is an excellent politician. The Labour Party was part of the latest coalition with Fine Gael and therefore Joan Britton was the Taunashta, which is basically the second in command to the Taoiseach, which is the Prime Minister. Their ideology is social democracy and third way, whatever that means. The next party is the last of the four major parties and they are Sinn Féin, which means we ourselves, and it's led by two of the most pretentious public figures in Irish history, Gerry Adams and Mary Lou Macdonald. They're the party with the most legitimate origins, except nowadays it's just kind of a joke my opinion, and they're left-wing, and I would be more left-wing than right-wing, definitely, but I just think their brand of, wait for it, Irish republicanism, left-wing nationalism, and democratic socialism is just stupid. The next party, and I don't know why these are so high up, is the Anti-Austerity Alliance People Before Profit. They used to be two parties, but then they joined together because they realised that they're actually quite alike. They're both irritating as f Oh, I'm not allowed to swear on this channel, I'm so sorry. They're the social justice warriors of the Irish political scene. They are far left and you would know it by listening to them. They're just so... They believe in Trotskyism and eco-socialism and I'm fairly sure Trotsky... Yep, he was a communist. There are also quite a lot of smaller parties, often founded recently. The oldest one here is the Green Party, which actually used to have a following and now nobody actually likes them. There's also newer parties called Renewa, which is right-wing, and then there's Workers and Unemployed Action, which I've never heard of, the Workers' Party, which believes in communism, Irish Republicanism, and Marxism-Leninism, who I've also never heard of, and Republican Sinn Féin. I'm going to go now. This video probably made very little sense to anybody who lives outside of Ireland, but I hope it helped you understand our stupid little country that I love very dearly. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next Thursday. Okay, bye.